If you aren't voting for Joe Biden in this election, then you're not vegan. If you're voting for Trump, you're voting for someone who supports animal abuse, animal cruelty, and someone who's going to keep on doing that for years and years to come. But if you vote for Joe Biden, Joe Biden is going to fix everything. He's got two rescue dogs. He's a great guy. He obviously cares about animals. He's done so much amazing, loving, animal-loving stuff. And his policies are clearly going to be so, so, so animal friendly. He's going to do so much for the animals. He's going to definitely, definitely not sell out to big ag. He's definitely going to stand up against them because he is our man. He is our vegan ally. He is our ally to the animals. So you, you out there, you got to vote for Joe Biden. If you don't, if you don't vote for Joe Biden, well, you ain't vegan. And it's that simple. I don't focus on what people say. I'm all about the people's actions. I'm all about what people do. And I know that Joe Biden's going to do the right thing. I'm David Rams. Welcome back to another 5 Minute Friday. 5 Minute Fridays are where I go through some of the recent interesting news related to veganism and I try to keep it under 5 minutes. As you probably already know, it's not going to be under 5 minutes, but it will be interesting because in this week's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to get political. The new president of the United States, Joe Biden, has just appointed his Secretary of Agriculture and he's chosen a guy named Tom Vilsack. Vilsack has a history of doing this exact same job. He did it for Obama for eight years. A few weeks after Obama's team was voted out and Trump's team was voted in, Vilsack moved on onto a nice new job where since then he was earning about $1 million a year as the president and CEO of the US Dairy Exports Council. He's a dairy industry lobbyist who's representing the interests of big ag. And Joe Biden just made him the USA's Secretary of Agriculture. Looks like Joe's really trying to help the animals, right? But what did Vilsack actually do in his eight years with Obama? Well, he completely ignored a petition put forward by the Animal Legal Defense Fund, Compassion Over Killing, Farm Forward, Farm Sanctuary, Mercy for Animals, and PETA. This petition was regarding cases of inspectors who had witnessed farms slaughtering animals by shooting them in the head and letting them bleed out, and also documented 32 cases of abuse that were worthy of criminal indictment for example, one of the cases was a farmer electrically prodding an animal's genitals. No one was prosecuted, nothing was done, Vilsack and his team completely ignored the petition. Vilsack also pushed for an increase in line speeds at poultry plants. He wanted to get them from 130 birds a minute to 175 birds a minute, but fortunately it got reversed in 2014. But the Trump administration picked up where they left off and pushed for higher line speeds for multiple species of farmed animals. Vilsack, part of the current Biden team that many vegans were telling you to vote for. But if you vote for Joe Biden, Joe Biden is going to fix everything. He's got two rescue dogs. He's a great guy. He obviously cares about animals. He's done so much amazing, loving, animal-loving stuff. Did some unethical, animal-related groundwork on policies for Trump, who many vegans said you weren't vegan if you voted for. It's almost like most politicians are self-serving, money-obsessed, power-hungry, morally corrupt assholes who don't care about you or the animals. No, never. It can't possibly be that. And to top it all off, in the eight years that he was working with Obama, Vilsack was working to protect the financial interests of Big Ag, shunning farmers, workers, and the environment, and focusing on making big dollar for the elites. I put out a video just before the election expressing my, let's say, concerns with vegans telling other vegans they weren't vegan if they voted for Trump. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't vegan. It don't have nothing to do with Trump. Now, obviously, Joe Biden didn't say that, but what he actually said was just as crazy. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. It don't have nothing to do with Trump. Eesh. According to Joe Biden, who you vote for determines whether or not you're black. And according to some vegans, who you vote for also determines whether or not you're vegan. Does how you vote determine whether or not you're a vegan? The short answer, no. Just the same way how you vote doesn't determine whether or not you're black. Biden wasn't the vegan choice. He wasn't the vegan ally. None of the people trying to gain power to lead your country are your f***ing allies. They are the elite of the elite. The most elite politicians out there. They're extremely wealthy. They come from families with massive power and massive influence. And they're driven by one thing. 
Money. They are not your people. They aren't on your side and they aren't here for the animals. Vote for whoever you think is best, but don't treat your chosen candidate as if they're some kind of hero for you or some kind of hero for the animals because they're not. Be ready to fight them. Be ready to continue fighting for the animals because none of these presidential candidates or high level politicians give a f about you or the animals. The largest dairy company in India is trying to get a video removed from YouTube and Facebook. The video is exposing the horrors of the Indian dairy industry and Amul is so f***ing scared of it that they're trying to get it taken down. Pathetic. The video they're trying to get removed is still up now. It's called Unholy Cattle of India. It was put together by a Bangalore team, the Bangalore Brigade for Animal Liberation, and it has around 30,000 views, so it is getting to people. Legal proceedings have started, and I don't know which way it's gonna go, but I can tell you that I have downloaded the video, and if it does get removed, I will be uploading it here on this channel. If you want to do the same thing, I've included a link in the description. You can download the video from that link, and you can get ready to re-upload it too. So make sure to share that video with anyone who's telling you that it's different in India, that they don't do these things in India. That video exposes all of the bullshit. It's a very powerful video. That's why Amul is trying to get it taken down. They can try as much as they want, but they're never gonna silence us all. Would you eat a burger made out of a volcano? What? Maybe you're thinking I've gone crazy. I promise you I haven't. Scientists have found a microbe in Yellowstone Park that they've been able to develop and make sustainable protein out of. It all started in a volcano. Millions of years ago, actually when a remarkable little microbe was born. And while it lived there undiscovered, the world's population kept growing and growing, as did our impact on the planet. Until suddenly, feeding everyone wasn't guaranteed. But when a group of explorers, scientists, and optimists doing research for NASA discovered the microbe, it turned out to be uniquely remarkable a new source of nutritious protein the world had never seen before. So the scientists got curious, the explorers hypothesized, the optimists wondered, and inspired by nature's own technology, they invented a new way of fermentation and created Phi, a complete protein with all 20 amino acids. Perfect for making all kinds of really delicious nutrition-packed foods. Perfect for feeding anyone, anywhere anytime, without the need for sun, rain, or soil. Perfect for feeding all 8 billion of us and future generations of uses. And making phi uses just a tiny fraction of the land, water, and energy that traditional protein uses. Which means together, we can give the Earth a breather. Let it rest, rebuild, even be renewed. From finding a microbe to feeding the whole globe. This is the story of nature's find. And we can't wait to meet all 8 billion of you. The idea of a meat-like protein that can be reproduced without the use or killing of animals, the fraction of the land in comparison to growing crops, is pretty exciting. So would you eat this volcano burger? Let me know in the comments. I have three cool things to talk to you about, so don't go anywhere just yet. One, I've started the David Rams Discord. Discord is a free platform where I can connect with you really easily. We can chat, we can share videos, posts. It's a really cool thing. The David Rams community is already up and running. You can join right now. All you've got to do to join the David Rams Discord is click the link in the description. It's 100% free. I hope I'll see you there soon. Two, I've started posting exclusive Patreon content, including a video from when I used to be a screamer in a metalcore band. I'll be posting more exclusive content like that related to music, fitness, food, and much, much more. If that sounds good to you and you want to support my work, join the Patreon team. Click the link in the pinned comment and you can join right now. And thanks again to everybody who is already in the Patreon team. Your names are up on the screen right now. Thank you all so, so much. And last but not least, if you want to raise money for the animals without spending any extra money, you can. I'm 
working with an app that's donating $10 for every 10 reviews of vegan food that you do on their app. All you've got to do is download the app, open the settings, enter my referral code, David Rams, and start reviewing. It's free, it's easy, and you raise money for animal charities. What more do you want? The link to this app is also in the pinned comment below the link to my Patreon, so check it out. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I will see you in Sunday's live stream.